Okay, so uh, my presentation about the acrylic console I start with sugar and uh, uh, we have already presented some acrylic console transparent so I, I can go faster and to than I was expected. So that's nice. Uh, so actually this is the sugar instrumentation. Uh, with the X-banded dual pole, we are trying to, to put the X-band dual pole on the roof of CIPA. Uh, we have still some issues if, you, if, if it's not possible to put in the roof. So we have a big issue because the, 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 the trees are very high, so you need to, to have a tower pretty high. So the, the MP3000 jaws, diesel meters, and, uh, and rain gauge in BRAPA, uh, the MRR, passable diesel meter, rain gauge, surface flux in T2 in Iranduba. The LMA networks that depend from Rachel projects, and also Carlos also intend to have, and uh, for DLR now, Linux. Um, it probably participates, so it's a very good news. We have a network of lighting. The GPS network with the Davy Adams that was presented here will be also read by some uh, other GPS that Sapusi showed today to work. The radio sound uh, that we intend to co collaborate that depends from the National Science Foundation proposal to be approved or not. So this is the proposal to be, if it's not approved, if you need to have, uh, because the National Science Foundation, it's a proposal that you be for the second IOP. So the first IOP, it's a uh, radio sound need to be provided by our campaign, by the Brazilian side. And the Paulus project also asked for some radio sound. So there is, um, and so others, diesel meter and rain gauge and MRI in UAA. And we propose to have a training course in UAA and the SOS Go Amazon's Manaus that is a, a facility, an interface that you can see the rainfall, the information, satellite, model, everything in a geographic information system that will help to, to to, to work in during the campaign for fly and so several applications. And also there is the data compiler including the Manaus S band. So this is also the same pictures. Here you have some flights, the zone for flights that's shown by by uh, Paulo the the region that is outflow from Manaus and more pristine regions. And uh, so the idea is to have to join instrumentation in Embrapa at the site that the Aeroclima that um, Paulo is responsible. We are Duba, sound in radio sonda, uh, also here in the airport and the radar. And, okay, so for the radio sound, one proposal uh, it's the on site you have the four radio sounds per day independently of any other um, pilot or not. It's not it's only the IOP or during the the year. Whole year. Very nice. Four radio sounds per day. Nice. And uh, so what we can provide we are discussing to have in ZF June two and uh, in the airport. Airport we need radio sound twice a day. So we need to have two additional in the airport and a length for here per day during the campaign you have this kind of triangle with National Science Foundation it's approved so you'll be able to have much more. The problem is that you have only counting that the, the Paulus project has 100, they have 200 if you split in two campaigns, 150 for each one so you have 20, 50 days for radio sounds per day to have this triangle. So this is the resource uh, you'll be able to have without the new proposal. If this new FAPES proposal is open, uh, people need to ask for more radio sounds to improve this uh, cover. Uh, so here is the place of the other instrumentation, the pass. Uh, this is the, an idea about the SOS 
from Manaus. This is the SOS for Vale do Paraíba. So uh, you can see in real time the, the place of the rainfall cells where you have lightning. If you can select the uh, weather forecast in satellite and you can zoom in, zoom out. So it will be a very important tool for our operation during the campaign. And uh, this is an important point for the first IOP that the, um, the twin satellite is going to die. And this is the last we hope that you still will fly up to the campaign. And the new one will be launched. So it will be the only opportunity to have the two, the old twin and the new GPM flying during the first IOP. So it's, uh, it's, you have a very good data and, uh, during that time. And it will be very important for GPM also because uh, you have airplanes and instrumentation. So it's an important opportunity to, to get and intercalibrate all the instrumentation. So it's uh, be very important. So here is uh, the, the presentation that Randy Schmerford sent to me. What <laughs> time? <laughs> so, um, Buffett is from Leipzig University. He wrote two important books, uh, Theory of Atmospheric Radiation Transfer and Airborne Measurements in Experimental Research Airplane. I think so, in the last transparency he showed the, the, the book. So, uh, there is the the acridicon, uh, if, uh, as Carlos asking me about the scientific objective, if someone wants to read the white paper, the white paper uh, I upload as the abstract of the, this presentation. So it's the web page, the, the white page. So the acridicon is funded by Max Planck Society uh, and uh, the German Science Foundation has a prior problem, so it's uh, approved. A very, it's a very hard competition to have this uh, operation, and uh, it was approved to run. And uh, this is the, the, the fly mission, Cloud Vertical Evolution, uh, Aerosol Processing, Satellite Validation, Vertical Transport and Mixing. This is with artificial tracer, and uh, I think this is uh, something that need to see later. I don't know if it's such a kind of mission can be approved by the Defense and uh, Environmental Minister, but and the cloud form over forest and the forest area. Um, so mission one, the, the cloud vertical structure is it's about what you have discussed a few times ago that you don't know what is the mixed layer. Um, we would like to know the relationship between mass and gel meter in the ice. So this uh, measurement will be very nice to have this kind of information. Uh, there is this the kind of fly that to be in the cloud base. So a kind of uh, uh flying that the the pilot does not like to have, and uh, the, in the outflow of the convective system. Uh, this was shown already by Scott. And this is the long range answer, Renato, question for the age particles that you, as this airplane can fly very high and have a uh, long endurance, so like eight hours can fly. So. It's a long fly up to the cross region of forest, the forest and uh, smoke, no smoke. So uh, we have, uh, so it's, there is a number, ah, oh, that's important to the, the Go Amazons. We are discussing now, it's uh, 2014, two IOP, one in February, March, and the second one in September, October. But, but Go Amazons was extended to 2015. The, the airplane, it's approved for the two IOP in 2014. The National Science Foundation, it's submitted to the second IOP in, uh, in, the, in, in the first summer in 2015. 
the Paulus project it's for 2014-2015 and the sugar it's only to the two I, I, IOP and uh, this airplane you only fly in the second IOP in the, during the drying to wet season so that's important to, to point on and uh, this is also an uh, interesting mission from the sugar point of view that this satellite mission uh, validation we have a lot of uh, uh, interesting approach for the the, uh, the expansion of the outflow in the the convective systems and um, so we, we have uh, opportunity to validate I have a table to show this validation uh, this is the microphysical probes that was uh, already shown by Scott so I jumped that this was also shown this is the 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 book that uh, Wendish wrote with Beringue and and this is the the type of uh, mission that it's also already showed but this is something that I would like to show is the radiometer that is the same concept as the one um, developed by Vanderlei and I guess uh, Alexander is also building one. So this is the, the difference between ice and liquid water, the wavelength. So we have different uh, uh, emissivities, uh, reflectivity for the, the ice and, and, uh, and uh, liquid water. So the ratio between the two can give an idea about the layer of ice, uh, liquid water ice and the mix layer so it will be a possibility this is an instrumentation that you find in the window of the airplane and uh, this is the satellite mission validation so the modes and cloud sites powder calypso severy from metasite second generation and this is the instrumentation in the airplane and the what is going to be validated by each of the satellite measurements. Uh, and this is the, 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 I think is the last slide. This is to use per full carbon as artificial tracing to, to fly. I don't know if you have experience in that. Have you already used Amazon? I don't know how difficult it will be to, to have this trace, uh, artificial trace gas to, to follow the structure, but this is one of the proposed uh, So, that's okay, this is the Acrudicon, it's open for questions. Uh, the 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 sugar uh, I you already ask if to be uh, more six months to have the second campaign so I need to be approved the second but I think there is no problem and the uh, sugar you went but you have all the instrumentation and if we, the power project can continue to the maintenance of the equipment the equipment can stay there the only point is the radar the radar it's a uh, a leasing. And uh, we have paid already more than 70% of the leasing in the end of the contract. So you'll be, I think uh, you should buy this. You only can buy the radar paying less than 30%. I think you need to pay like something like $300,000 to, to have the radar from our side. So maybe it can be, a, I don't know, it's something that should be discussed. At the end of the project with a past with someone with the his budget someone to pay and stay with the raid and the raid can stay there operate no. other facility okay so we we'll go to the last presentation now we talk about 2014 thank you